Hello mga caps! Kamusta na Google account mo? Yes, yung Google account mo kinakamusta ko kasi baka hindi ka man na nakapag-check ng Gmail. As of August 7, 2023, Google has emailed us about the updating of our Google account inactivity policy. Ano na sa loob ng email na ito? According to Google, they will be deleting inactive accounts starting December 1, 2023. So, magbubula si Google ng mga inactive Google accounts simula December 1, 2023. Apektado ka ba nito? I-check natin. Sabi ni Google, these changes do not impact you unless you have been inactive in your Google account for 2 years or have not used your account to sign into any Google service for 2 years. Maaaring mabura ang iyong Google account kung hindi mo nagamit ito sa loob ng dalawang taon o kaya naman hindi ka man lang nakapag-sign in sa kahit anong Google service sa loob ng dalawang taon. While the changes go into effect today, the earliest would enforce any account deletion would be December 2023. Effective na today, nung araw na kanilang sinandang email, August 7, 2023, yung changes na gusto nila ipatupad. Pero yung actual na pag-delete na accounts, it will start by December 2023. If your account is considered inactive, we will send several reminder emails to both you and your recovery emails before we take any action or delete any account content. So, yun naman pala. Kung inactive ang account mo, huwag kang mag-alala, magsisend sila ng email sa'yo and not only to you but to your recovery emails kung meron kang mga inilagay o pinrovide sa kanila. Hindi sila mag-delete agad, makakarisip ka pa ng paalala. These reminders will go out at least 8 months before action is taken on your account. Meron kang walong buwan no? na palugit bago actually madilit ang iyong account. No? So, when you receive a reminder email, sa loob ng walong buwan, dapat maging active na uli ang iyong Google account. After the Google account is deleted, the Gmail address for the deleted account cannot be used again in creating new Google account. So, kung yung Google account mo ay mabura, hindi mo na pwedeng gamitin yung same Gmail address na ginamit mo. Okay? Sa paggawa ng Google account. So, mag-iisip ka na naman ng panibagong name for your Gmail address kung gagawa ka ulit ng Google account. So, huwag ka mag sa email na ito. Nag-provide naman sila ng mga paraan on making our accounts active. Sabi niya, ang pinakasimple yung pwede mong gawin ay mag-sign in ka at least once every two years. Gamitin mo naman yung Google account mo. Mag-sign in ka man lang gamit yun. Okay? Para hindi maging inactive ang iyong account. If you have signed into your Google account recently in the past two years, your account is considered active and will not be deleted. So, huwag kang masyadong kabahan. Kung nakapag-sign in ka naman sa palagay mo, using your Google account sa loob ng dalawang taon, kahit isang beses lang, sabi dyan, your account is considered active and will not be deleted. Pero, kung sakaling ikaw ay kinakabahan pa rin, baka ma-delete ang iyong account, there are other ways, sabi dito, to keep our accounts active. Una, reading and sending an email. O magbasa ka man lang ng email mo. O mag-send ka ng email sa iba gamit ang iyong Gmail address. Next, use Google Drive. Google Drive is a cloud storage facility provided by Google. So, kung may files ka sa phones mo na sobrang dami at hindi naman ka siya sa isang uh, usual na uh, flash drive, sa Google Drive mo i-save. Okay? Ayan, magagamit mo, uh, magagamit mo ba yun to make your account active? O yan naman, using your Google account, watch a YouTube video. Mag-share ka ng photo using your Google account. Mag-download ka ng app. Dapat ang naka-sign in sa iyong Google Play Store, of course, is your Google account. Mag-search ka using your Google Chrome. Pero dapat, make sure naka-sign in din doon ang iyong Google account, ha? And, sign in with Google third-party apps or services. Gamitin mo yung Google kung sakali magagamit ka ng other apps or services. 
Meron ba exemptions dito? Yes. May mga exempted. Halimbawa nito ay yung mga Google account na may YouTube channels na may video at may comments. At saka, yung mga account na may gift card with monetary balance. No? Kung yung Google account mo ay may gift card at may perang balance doon, hindi nila yung bubarahin, syempre. And another one, if your account has a published application. Okay? Kung ikaw ay programmer and you use your Google account to publish your program or your app, hindi yan basta-basta bubarahin ni Google. Ha? So, I hope uh, this video will help you prevent your Google account from being deleted. So, open mo na yung Gmail mo, basahin mo yung email because that is one way to make your Google account active. Sige mga kaps, salamat!